So for Raw on Monday night, we had a show last week that was built around a tournament to determine number one contenders to Randy Orton and Riddle. It was literally the entire show, with the exception of a few matches, was just yeah, one long match. Yeah, it was, the, it was, the, it was the, 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 the first, like, it was like the first 45 minutes and the last 45 minutes. It was like minutes. the first and last hour of the show. Yeah. And so after all that, they announced that, in fact, it's not happening on Raw, because Randy Orton will be facing Bobby Lashley even though he's already facing him at Extreme Rules. Well, this is the match f- instead of at Extreme Rules, although they could do a, a cheap finish and build it for Extreme Rules a- as well. I mean... Um, so they're still doing the match at Extreme Rules? Not necessarily. I mean, in theory, no, but they'll probably do a... F- you know, it wouldn't shock me that they do a finish to bring it back at Extreme Rules, but right now, no. Right now, it's not at Extreme Rules. Right now, it's on Monday. It, the match has been moved to Monday. So, um, you, you know, expect it's... expect that they are going to wrestle at Extreme Rules? Yes. Okay. I, ex- I expect that they will wrestle at Extreme okay. Rules. But I haven't, you know, it's one of those things, I haven't even asked, because it's one of those things where so few people know, and you know, even the people who know don't even care. It's just like, because if you're like on the writing team, you know, what are you going to do? It's like, you don't know because Vince is going to, you know, it's like the, the, it could be today that they're going to do a, a cheap DQ finish and they'll bring it back at Extreme Rules in a no DQ match or a, a cage match or whatever, or Vince will change his mind anyway. So who who knows? I, usually when it's like, usually when it's the mind changes, it usually goes to Randy Orton. You know, like when Vince... You know, you know when Vince is like, I don't want to use the word panic, but when Vince is uh, uh, changing his mind out of whatever it makes Vince change his mind to, it's like he goes to Randy Orton. He doesn't go from Randy Orton. And this is a perfect example of it. It's like big guy, you know, um, someone who's got a long tenure on top. Um, he trusts or whatever, you know, you, you know, it's not, he's not a new guy who doesn't know how to do whatever Vince thinks or doesn't do a style that Vince doesn't get or whatever the, whatever the issue is. But, um, you know, obviously there's, there's two major things, you know, and, and the, obviously the, the fact that this just happened, that they just did this change, it has to do with the fact that they lost in the ratings on for the first time, second time, however you want to view it. Um, and you know, and, two times in three weeks in in other ways but um that's part of it and of course football starting is probably part of it i mean obviously last week they should have known football was starting the next week but i don't even know that they figured on that it could be you know i don't even know what's going on there anymore and you know with 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 that but but i mean obviously there have been many many things that have happened since since the ratings came out on thursday many many things and um that's one of them. So, I mean, it. look, champ, you know, the one thing WWE has, has shown, because when Bobby Lashley was with, was uh, when um, they did the stuff with, where they went to the title with Miz and then Bobby Lashley beat Miz and everything like that, and they did that series of things, they did very good numbers for that. So those championship matches have done very well for Raw. So it should do very well, and it should be enough to avert the normal drop of, whatever it would be, 7 to 10% from from football week one, because I think that the championship match should be worth 7 to 10% all by itself. Maybe I'm wrong, but but they should keep in, you know, or even increase from what they did last week. And that's the idea. And, um, you know, I mean, that's just what, you know, they're trying to build a rating, and that's, that's the whole thing behind it. And uh, the tag team match that they'd done the week before was not going to draw a big rating. Um, this week, they got a bunch of other matches too. They got uh, Charlotte Flair and Shayna Baszler in a in a non championship match. And uh, what's the other stuff? Uh, that's a good question. I just had the. Uh, I'll find it here. Um, I mean, hopefully, we'll see what WWE dot com says because well, uh, there's 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 four or five matches that have been announced. I think they announced five matches. They announced the whole show. Well, you know, yeah, again. but I mean, how many times have they announced the entire show and done nothing? They announced three matches a couple of weeks ago and did zero of the three. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. But this is the change. So I think that these I think that these will probably happen because these it's it's like this is not the primary card. This is already the change to the new card. But yes, can Vince show up tomorrow morning and get all frustrated and you know, get mad at something and change these matches? Of course he could. You know, that happens all the time. 
Well, let's see. It should be on our site. You need to look at well, WWE. I'm going to WWE site because you would think that a WWE website would have the lineup. Well, well, for I know that our WWE site has, matches. I know that our site has the five matches. Yeah, right. Well, I'll find our site then because it ain't on WWE.com. Literally, the only thing they have up there right now is the uh, is that match. Yeah. Let's see here. This should be easier. Let's find what we got on our site. And of course, now I can't find anything. It's on the front. It was. It was on the front page last night. It was. Um, it would be. Oh, um, here we go. All right. Okay, yes. I got it. We got uh, Lashley versus Randy Orton. We got Charlotte and Shayna non-title. We've got Damian right. Priest open challenge. Damian Priest open challenge, which also makes no sense for the title because he's already defending the title on the pay per view. But again, they're trying to do a pay per view caliber show on Monday because. At you know, the last minute that I'm just finding out about right now, and I do this for a living, they're trying to do a pay per view caliber show on Monday. Yeah, that's the idea. Yeah, usually, you build up pay per view caliber shows for like a few weeks if you're going to do. Well, the, look, look, show. they didn't know they were going to lose the ratings until Thursday. They didn't know there was going to be football this week. Even I knew that. Okay, they knew that they they, they knew football, but wh which do you think panicked them more, losing the ratings or, or the fact that they're going against the NFL? If you think it's going against the NFL is the one that panicked them, you're wrong. It's it's the fact they lost the ratings. Mm, maybe they should have thought about that earlier. They didn't know till Thursday. Mm. They changed it on Friday. Yeah. They did immediately when that happened. They changed the show. Yeah, were, so that's you know. I so mean, like I'm not things, have, things have been close, and they knew that Wednesday was going to have Brian Danielson, CM Punk, and Adam Cole, and they yeah, didn't but they're think that in denial. They're in complete. They're in complete denial. Well, they should be not, doing nothing to show maybe, this week if they're in okay. denial. Then okay, maybe they're in less. They're, they're in less than complete denial because the MSG show showed that hey, they opened that MSG show with Roman Reigns out there running down, you know, with the implied running down of a. We run this city. We run this building, and everything. Everyone was cheering him too. It was really interesting. It's like those fans. Those fans are like AEW fans. They're into this war, you know, and they want it. They want that shit. I mean, they were. They had the the top heel in the company, and they were cheering him like crazy when he was doing that opening monologue. And and Michael Cole's out there going, you know, basically trying to pretend that they're booing him, which was also hilarious. That was a piece of work. Well, we also got Kofi, Xavier, Ali, and Mansoor versus AJ, Omos, Mace, and T-Bar. So it's not a total pay-per-view quality show here. And uh, Rhea Ripley versus Natty. So <laughs> they better do. <laughs> Natty and uh, Tamina better be wrestling. <laughs> they should be doing a three-way. But Tegan Knox and Shotzi have just, you know, they did get a, like a five-second cameo on yeah, Friday. Yeah, they were driving a tank on SmackDown. Yeah, After I mean they, the champs three they beat times the champs three times and never times getting a title and, match, and and they've been basically forgotten about. Yeah, so what can you say? What can you say? It's it's WWE booking. That's you know that's how they do it, or it's how they do it now. It's not how they used to do it. It's how they do it now. Hey, if you're a big fan of Wrestling Observer Radio, we got twelve thousand episodes of all of our podcasts up at our website wrestlingobserver.com. If you sign up today, you get access to every single one of them. The 12 to 18 new shows that we do every single week. You can podcast them, listen to them on the road, at work, working out, in the shower, wherever you listen to your podcasts. And also full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter and archives. So if you love what you hear, head to WrestlingObserver.com. 12,000 audio shows at your fingertips.